And mm-hmm. I was going on there just to, uh, you know, get my brand up there for artists. And me and my boy Brandon went on, and we had our first conversation. It was so dope. We invited yeah. him back, you know, like, and ever since then, we've last two, three years, we've just been having this relationship. Mm-hmm. He comes up to Fredericksburg a lot. I'll introduce him to any, like, new people I meet. He mm-hmm. introduced me to new people. It's just like a, one of them network relationships. But what I fuck with him is he takes advantage of these. Yeah, and he, he always takes advantage of it. And that's that's the whole reason why you want to relate. Yeah, a lot of times we relate message to people. They don't even, you yeah. know what I'm saying? They don't even take advantage of it. Fall the and then they'd be like, yo, you never helped me. <clears> you know. You know, I know you type of person like me, like we going we going yeah. regardless. It don't matter. No way for nobody. It don't matter. So but I give you these little tidbits, you know, I give you a little, you know, a little room to go ahead and get take your own. You right. know what I'm saying? But some people don't they don't execute, you know what I'm saying? Right. And he always attacks, you know what I'm saying? And I always told him I'm gonna do a project with him at some point. I just gotta actually sit down and actually get it done. But I know for a fact because the way our our brains work, and even with you working with him, like I know we can make a, a project that would be just not even just about the music, it'd be branded the right yeah. way. Because he thinks the same way I think. Right. He works the same. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. uh, I think that would be dope as well. So yeah. it's definitely dope, man. Y'all working together for sure. Yeah, man. So sure, bro, how how do you and uh, Jadell? Uh, Jadell's working with Esquire, right? She worked with all of them. Well, okay. So yeah. how so how is it working with her stuff? So? Oh man, she's fire, man. Mm-hmm. Like I told her from day one. Um, <clears throat> She, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out like it's just crazy how the clubhouse thing worked. Mm-hmm. Like it was like I had to literally delete clubhouse because it was addictive. Oh yeah, you know what I mean, I but see. the reason why it was addictive because you was interacting. You know, we had COVID, the whole yeah. like lockdown yeah. and everything. Yeah. You couldn't be outside, so we were interacting with people that were dope. Like and hearing like actually your favorite artists' mm-hmm. stories. Mm-hmm. Like you know, you had all the the dopest artists on clubhouse. Mm-hmm. Then, before uh, more came now, you know what I'm saying? So, I used to just stay up, listen to that conversation. Mm-hmm. Or I'd go to, like, a mental health room mm-hmm. and just listen to the mental health. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah, I'm yeah. really big on, like, that. Like, because, yeah. like, I really take take that serious because, That's like, <clears throat> coming from the hood, man, you know, they try to look down on you yep. like that. Yep. Same thing in the military. Like, if you went to the, to the, to the uh, doctor all the time, mm-hmm. they look down on you. They call you, like, the sick bay commando and uh, stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, if your knee hurt and stuff like that. Yeah. But. I'm getting paid for the rest of my life yep, yep. because of the disability that I got mm-hmm. from the military. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So it's like, yep. so it's like, yo, like, why wouldn't you push that? Like, you know right. what I mean? So right. like now it's like when people like really, you know what I mean, hurting or whatever. Like even my daughter, she she goes talk to a therapist. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She's right. about to be ten. Okay, but yeah. I give that she has that opportunity That's to go dope. express herself. If she mm-hmm. can't express it to us, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That so, actually gives me a thought too. I never thought about that. Yeah. Having like a younger, younger, yeah, yeah, man. Actually yeah. Get yeah. Because I feel like I feel like because when you can express yourself, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and get everything out that you want to say, and yeah. you know what I'm saying. Sometimes like my daughter, like I got two daughters, so yeah. they, my my oldest, like she, I don't, I don't want her to be intimidated. Right. It's just the fact that she, I'm her dad. I think right, right. she'd be intimidated. I'm like, nah, I see what you're saying. be you, like yeah. do you, be great, do you. That's and crazy. Like, I never you know, talk to somebody. Talk to somebody. I never you know thought about a younger kid going through and, and talking through therapy. I never thought about that. That actually is because the younger you be able to get your stuff out, the less you'll have. Going less, the less, the less worries you got to worry about mm-hmm. when you get to our age. Mm-hmm. So that's definitely yeah. dope. That's definitely dope. Okay. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Okay, so my mom had a little segment on the show, and okay. she, you know, I, she just got you got her mind going with this yeah. help. So go ahead, mom. Okay. Yeah, because I had. I'm glad that you went back to that because that I had just typed it here that. I was going to follow back up with you on that because mm-hmm. there is a stigma around in our yeah, community it is. around counseling. And I was going to ask you how, what made you say, I'm going to go. Um, ah, let me see. You know, what's crazy It's what was the movie? American sniper, mm-hmm. American sniper, man. It, it, uh, I got flashbacks. I used to have bad, I used to have bad, um, bad nightmares. Man. Yeah. And, um, like, because we used to be over there, like, and the kids, like, it's like, yo, they're kids. Yeah, I see. You know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah, like, these yeah. are kids. Yeah. And, um, and some of them, don't they be have, they be training them to, to yeah. Act, yeah. So, yeah, like, one, we had one incident where, um, it wasn't even an incident. They knew what they were doing. It was an accident. It was, they, it was a purpose. Mm-hmm. It was on purpose. Um, they used to, like, walk sheep in front of our vehicles to stop our vehicles. Mm. And, and it, we didn't. We used to think it was well, it's a guy, but it's a, it was a lady because yeah. she had the full uh, what is a garb or I don't know yeah, the name yeah, of it. Little, she had yeah. the full yeah. thing on, and um, so we would stop. So I think that they're smart, man. Them, mm-hmm. Our enemies is very mm-hmm. smart, and that's why I always tr- like they always say don't trust your enemy, mm-hmm. right? But you need to have smarts mm-hmm. to know like 
they, they're capable of doing certain things. Yeah. So they did it a couple of times and we stopped. Mm -hmm. Then the, the final time they did it, mm -hmm. they had an IED strapped to one of the, the, the sheep oh, when we stopped and it blew up one of our trucks. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So I used to have all these crazy nightmares. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that when you yeah. see me driving the trucks. I watched the show. Where they had like minefields underneath. Yeah, so you, the that way you was driving through through things like that. Yeah, I know yeah. that it wasn't, it wasn't. So we never like never. Our our goal was to stay off dirt roads mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and do yeah, dirt roads because yeah. they can just dig it right yeah, up. Yeah. We stay always on concrete. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. So like I used to have these these uh flashbacks. Yeah. Excuse me. And American Sniper came on, and it was the part where he was about to shoot the kid. Mm, and like yeah. it, it tore me up like yeah. you know what I mean yeah. I like just broke down so yeah. um I was like yo I need to go get help because like at the time I was married and my mm -hmm. wife used to say hey you need to go get help because like I used to sweat in my sleep and right. she was like yo why is, the, why is the side of your bed like why are you sweating like this right. you straight and I'm like yeah I'm straight you know what I mean because mm -hmm. we all that was the mentality yeah. like I don't want to show know, anybody you know what I'm saying I'm weak mm -hmm. and that was the thing with the BAS going mm -hmm. to the doctor saying you hurt mm -hmm. so um she was just like, yo, you need to go get help. So after a certain amount of time, that's when that story came up, that movie came out, mm -hmm. I literally went to the VA and was like, yo, I need to talk to somebody. Yeah. Like, cause something is wrong. Right. Cause right. I'm, start, I'm starting to see it now. But right. it took years later yeah. Yeah. after, you know what I mean, to, for me to like say, I need to go get help. Right. Cause right. Pre previously I was like fighting it with my wife. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm like, I, I don't need it. I'm straight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, but then after I'm just like, yeah, I need to go get help. Right. So now, that I do, you know what I'm saying? It's like I try to push it now because mm -hmm. it's like, yo, when that lady told me that I had it in, as a kid, yeah, I'm just like, oh snap, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying it's always been yeah. shit real, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just you know, domestic violence, seeing all of that, you know what I'm saying? Seeing all that yep. stuff, and it's like, all right, now I see, I see why, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Why some? So it's like with me when I deal with people, if people got anger in them and all that stuff, I kind of like try to figure out what's up with them before yeah. I take it to whatever level I need to take right. it to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. exactly. So it's like I'm trying to figure them out. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing I'm learning. I have to learn yeah. that in business and stuff. Cause Got to. Like, it's, you almost have to take, like, people be mad. You almost got to separate yourself from that. Like, yeah. now I'm trying to become the bigger person in every situation where before, like, you know, I don't know if it's black, it's because we black men or whatever. Like, when we get challenged, yo, like, for whatever yeah. reason, we just decided to Attacking, well, like, yeah, yeah attacking. Because that's how we were trained. It's mm -hmm. like it's not not like a, a, a military style mm -hmm. training, but that's how we're trained to defend. Mm -hmm. It's our defense mechanism, mm -hmm. right? You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. So you coming straight at me? All right, I'm even when we I'm scared. Like, like I, I've been yeah. in situations. I've been out, and I haven't been able to get away from like people be talking shit. It'd be a group of guys, right. and I still, for whatever reason, my mind would just be like, I got. I'm scared, so I got to protect myself. So I just attack the situation yeah. instead of fleeing. Um, but yeah. I'm trying to uh, get myself above. Everything, so nothing, even kill every yeah. time. So and, I, and I think, mom, to, to answer that, to finish that answer for that question, I think that going to to uh, to the mental health to the therapist and my daughters, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like my my daughters mm -hmm. is everything. I really like. I had no patience, yeah, until they came. Yeah, like I had lost all patience with anybody. Mm -hmm. So like you, I was going to smack yeah, at everything, yeah, get yeah. in arguments yeah. with my wife and stuff, mm -hmm. but. Like when they came, I always said like, "Yo, I'm not gonna do what my parents did mm -hmm. in front of me." Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Arguing and all of that yep. stuff. Like yep. we had a conversation, we had a disagreement. Mm -hmm. Hey, send the kids downstairs, send them upstairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean? So they don't have to hear yep. like what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, my kids, my, my daughters, man, they, yeah. they like I never, I, I was mad. I wanted a boy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. wanted a boy, like, yeah. but I didn't know that the girl, the girls, bro, they take care of yeah. you. Yeah. And my oldest, yeah. I had got surgery on my foot. She was like one or two, mm -hmm. and she was like, "Daddy, you need anything?" Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, "Yo, why they so loving?" Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And it's just in their mechanism. Mm -hmm. Like, we're the boys, so we told to be tough and yeah. all that. Like, yeah. nah, be you, have emotions. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's how um, my daughters and my and, and the therapy actually, like, you know what I mean? It kept me like. Going right, so you know what I'm saying. Right. So yeah, I would say. Yes, okay, and I like that because I think that's like you, and you, you touched on a bunch of things that are just like you were just popping in my head as you were talking about the. At first, you thought, okay, well, PTSD ha just happens if you go to war, but mm -hmm. then now we also we realize that that's not the case, mm -hmm. and there's now there's new. I'm, if you 
case I, if you have a little background. Eventually, I'm going to have a show of my own and I'll, everybody okay. know my background. But my background is psychology, mental health is counseling, and okay. clinical psychology. I'm a psychology professor. I have a business that's working with yoga and healing the body. Mm-hmm. And one of the things that I'm learning now from my, my new research, trying to understand us in general, and right. particularly not necessarily all blacks, but this, I do, I'm, I have a passion for that. Mm-hmm. And one of the things I've learned is that we hold a lot of stuff in our body. Yeah. So it's not even, it's years, past, ancestry, starting mm-hmm. from ancestral part, and then we carry it. We right. carry it through our body. So all of us, like you said, and you hit it right on the nose, yeah. all of us have PTSD. Yeah, all of us. From it. just being. Some, some, some right, form of fashion. Some form of fashion. It don't matter what color you exactly. are. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I like how you said the mental health part and pushing it because you're right. We can't, if, if, we're, if we're having stuff going on mentally mm-hmm. and we're parents, all that stuff is happening to our kids. Right. Because our kids are going to, they're going to feel it. They're going to see it. They're going to feel it. They're yeah. going to feel it. The energy, all that stuff, mm-hmm. they're picking up on it. So if we don't heal ourselves and go to counseling and get right. them support as well, then we're going to have issues. Right. Now, did, now, I have a question around that too. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, <laughs> but this right. is like interesting to yeah. me that you picked up on. Um, another thing I've heard from people, another reason why they don't go to therapists is and I was in that world, so mm-hmm. I, I definitely know the world is whitewashed. Yeah. Meaning that the people there, it's not it's not a lot of us, it's not yeah. triples of us. Right. You know, for the various reasons I, I could go on a long story yeah. about why that is. But the problem is what I'm hearing is that we don't want to go to the therapist because they don't understand us. Right. So and they're even though they're supposed to be trained, they still have some stuff in some they internal have, yeah. stuff that they don't understand. So they right. they put that on us. Yeah. It's reflected on us when we go into therapy. Mm-hmm. So my question is, when you chose a therapist, what did you like how did you end up choosing that particular person? Um so basically it's funny that you asked me that. Uh like I was literally about to knock the doctor out. <laughs> I literally like he he's my he's my primary care at the VA. Like I I, I can't stand him. Mm-hmm. Like why is because he like what you just said, like he he he's um he don't understand me and it's like the way he was asking the question and then it's like right. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, like like bruh. So what I did was I said, look man, like he, they had me talk to one one um one doctor, he was black. Um, but I'm like, I don't need a dude. I need a woman. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I need a woman to talk to yeah. a, a black woman. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. And, um, it's no, it's no disrespect to any race, mm-hmm. but I know they, understand. they will understand the right? because a man, like you said, mm-hmm. um, is going to have those internal things, even though they're, they're, they're trained to be a psych- psychologist, a therapist or whatever, you know what I'm saying? They're human <laughs> and I respect that. But at the same time, as a woman, I, I need that woman perspective because I've been thinking like a man all this time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so with the 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 woman, um, um, Dr. Madison, she's in Manassas too. Um, she 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 had her even with COVID, she would have her door open so for me to come. So it was never like, right. oh, we need to do just virtual or whatever. Mm-hmm. She like, no, come in. If you need to come in, come in. If you want to do virtual, virtual. So when I moved from Manassas, then we started doing virtual. Um, but then she told me that the VA stopped paying her. So I'm like, why did it, why did it stop paying you? So I had to like, I'm still in the, in the, in the, uh, midst of getting that fixed. But she like, don't worry about them not paying you. If you still need to talk, call yeah. me. You got my number. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just needed, I needed that because, um, my grandma, my grandma was like the backbone of our relationship, of uh, the family. Mm-hmm. So I felt like I needed to have a woman therapist mm-hmm. and sometimes you know like it's not like you need that that feel of you know what i mean a mother or anything like that no it's just that i know they're going to be genuine with whatever they say you know what i mean versus guys you know what i'm saying we, we a lot of times we don't think yep. all the way through with yep. things so yep. yeah so that's that's how I, I chose i chose her um and yeah they gave me people to call so I called around a bunch of people and I was like, just hearing their voice, I'm like, nah, this ain't it. That's a very good point. So, and then I'll tie back in and then you can just hit back in. Mm-hmm. So the other part that I want to tie in is because I think in the music industry, because that's what you, you know, you focus on in the music industry, there's a lot of, you can hear it in the music, you can see mm-hmm. it in what's happening in, you know, 
in the community. We all watch the news. We all know right. what's happening. That's unhealed. That's yeah. stuff that needs to be healed somehow. Mm -hmm. um, and so what are your thoughts on that, this music industry and mental health? Like, what can we do to promote mental health? <laughs> um, I think um, putting it out there, I think the, the hardest part of anything is just putting it out there, putting mm -hmm. mental health out there, letting people know that it's out I think uh, Charlemagne, he does a good yeah, job with it. Yeah. He does a great job with it. Um, I think he, he was a, the, one of the first people, the pioneers, to kind of push it mainstream. Yeah. You got to, man, because mm -hmm. I, like I love all music, and mm -hmm. but because of the, I understand the struggles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I understand it. like So NWA, to all that, like that's what we dealt with. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And even with, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't, I don't, like look at any music and like oh that's not that's, that's trash like you shouldn't be saying that no express yourself mm -hmm. because that's why I love music mm -hmm. that's why I do it because yeah. I want you to express yourself mm -hmm. you know what I mean however you feel you do it so um I think purpose like honestly we can literally push it more and if we just people just put it out there like hey like yeah I might be a gangbanger but guess what I need I, I need mental health. You know it's what I'm crazy because the people that we've interviewed lately that, you know what I'm saying, like Chino yesterday, uh, Mastermind, for course, these guys, you know, street street level guys, but at the same time, they all said the same thing. They all said up here, because we're, yeah. we're all getting older now. We're up yeah. to like, you know, we're getting close to our 30s yeah, and stuff. 36, so, man. I you know what I'm So now I got, I got, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I got, I got responsibilities mm -hmm. and it's like, man, like, do I need to, like you said before, mm -hmm. like. I'm not attacking things straight mm -hmm, on no mm -hmm, more. Mm -hmm. I'm 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 seeing what it is, mm -hmm. and if it's gonna be, if I feel like it's gonna be the wrong type of energy, mm -hmm. I go I go away. Mm -hmm. Like I'm cool. You can yep. say I'm weak or whatever, yep. but just know like I'm doing this for you. Yeah, I'm you not doing this for me. When I, when I see a long text yeah. message and I know the energy's off of, I yeah, text, you know what I'm saying. Like, the re and that's what I always tell people. I say, look, texting is a form of communication. Mm -hmm. But a lot of things can get misconstrued in a text message. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather you tell me in an audio message or just call me. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. If you got something to say, mm -hmm. but when you're talking records on a text message, mm -hmm. I'm going to just leave it there. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm and I'm like I'm not petty, but I'm petty. Like yeah, I yeah. I turn I specifically turn the red on. Yeah, I, 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 I turn the red on, so you know yeah, I read yeah, this. You know what I'm saying? And then I turn it back off. Like you know, yeah, just, yeah. I just do it on purpose. <laughs> like yo, I saw what you said. Yep. So next time I see you, mm -hmm. make sure that energy yeah, is the same. same. Yep. yep. Because don't come back with me with no, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? No, yep. no hee hee ha ha stuff. Yep. But yep. yeah, so yeah. Yeah, definitely, man. Because people will try to suck the energy out of you. The good trying to tell you, man. It's a lot of people that are hurting and they don't know how to like figure out they hurt, so they trying to spew that shit on the other people. Right. It's definitely crazy. Yeah. So before we get out of here, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have another conversation with you soon. Bro, yeah. Definitely. But uh, before we get out of here, I've been asking everybody this question. Um, you said you're 36, right? Mm -hmm. So what would you tell your 16 year old self? Um, you know, give your 16 year old self some advice. 16 year old self. What was I doing? 16. Captain of the baseball team. Mm -hmm. Um, I would tell my sixteen-year-old self to prep, prep yeah. for what's what's to come. Yeah. Meaning, like prep whatever you want to do. Like, I had a I had a scholarship at Norfolk State, mm -hmm. but um, my mom, man, she, it was like they were so hard on me because my yeah. brother was just he did what he could. My brother was smart. My brother could draw, entrepreneur. But he was like rebellious. He mm -hmm. was the oldest, you know what I'm saying? I'm 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 the youngest, so he was rebellious and um he ended up moving in with my dad because yeah. my mom couldn't couldn't take it no more yeah. or whatever. I wanted to move with my dad because I felt like as a teenager I need to be with my dad now. Right. Like I didn't live my, my kid life right. with some toddler and you know, yeah. elementary middle school life with my mom. Mm -hmm. I need to go move with my dad. Right. So um and my dad was always around. Mm -hmm. So I would uh, I would tell my sixteen year old self is to prepare yourself more without focusing on about stop worrying on everybody else. Yeah. Because my mom, the reason why I say that, my mom didn't prep me for ACT, SATs, and all of that. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like she, this what she'd do, man. No cap. Mm -hmm. I wake up on Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. She'd wake me up. I'm, I'm I've been stayed up all night playing yeah. Super Nintendo and all right, of this right. stuff. 
she'll wake me up and be like, get your clothes on. I'm about to take you to go take this test. What test? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I was, a, I was a scholar, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, a 3.5 yeah. student yeah, in high school. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, like, it just drained me to mm-hmm. the point where it's like, yo, if you don't care, why should I care about right, college? Right, right. <laughs> That's why I didn't go to college. Right. I'm like, hold on. So, you want me to go to college and waste your money? Because mm-hmm. all I'm doing is partying in girls because I'm tired of school. Right, right. And right, I almost right. got kicked off the baseball team my mm-hmm. senior year. I had got uh, one point something. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? The coach, of course, coach had to go talk to the teachers. Yeah. But it just, I mean, I felt bad because, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I disappointed my team, my coach. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? My, my coach was like my dad. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he was getting me to those places. Yeah. Um, I ended up making all senior baseball okay. as a shortstop. And oh. um, I, had a, I had a scholarship to go to Norfolk. All I had to do was get a 17. Mm. Wow. I kept getting 15. Right, right, right. Why? Because I didn't study. You weren't prepared. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't prepared. Yeah. So my mom would just wake me up and be like, hey, you want to take this test? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if I would have known, like, what it is now mm-hmm. for, like, to, to study, yeah. I would have been studying in ninth grade yeah. for this test. So, um, not saying, like, my mom to blame, mm-hmm. but for my 16-year-old self, I would definitely say, prepare for what you want to do. Yeah, facts. Fact. Prep yourself for what you want to do mm-hmm. to get to where you want to go and, and research. Mm-hmm. Man, this... Why? I mean, internet wasn't really popular. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. Like, we had America Online. Yep. Right? Had AOL, yeah. Like, and, 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 like and we had a limit. Yeah, yeah. 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 two-hour yeah. limit. Yeah. Two-hour yeah. limit. Yeah. For real, because yeah. it was free. It was, and it was taking the phone up. The yeah. house phone. Yep. Yep. If we didn't have another line, yeah. yep. we'll get off that phone. And then if somebody pick up, mm. oh, it'll automatically hang up the whole online. So yeah, man. So I had America Online, man. You know what I'm saying? So the what the 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 web was. The World Wide Web was not yeah. what it is not, back not then. Today. Now they so I definitely research. did my research mm-hmm. at the libraries and everything mm-hmm. like that. So I'm um, definitely telling my 16 year old self, prep. Yep. Prep yourself for whatever mm-hmm. you want to do. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's a dope, that's yeah. dope thing. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm just starting to ask people yeah. that. And I, I love the answers I'm getting um, from people because it's like a lot of it is around what you just said is, is preparation, you know, um, starting things, grown man time early. Yes. If you the, the sooner you get to your grown man time, the better you're gonna be, you know, as you learn. And a lot of times, you know, pay attention to mentors and stuff like yeah. that. Like, um, you know, that's why I always want to bring them around because I'm like, regardless, if y'all start at 16, 17, yeah. by the time you my age of 28 and 30 and stuff, you're gonna already have the knowledge and the mm-hmm. and the and also the networking ability, right. you know what I'm saying, right. to be able to go and attack. Cause I want them to have a faster start than yeah, I did, man. You know what I'm saying? Got to. Mm-hmm. Got to. Definitely, bro. So is there anything else you want to tell the people before we get out of here? Oh, man. Uh, so I got a clothing brand, me and my brother, oh. Kadeem. Um, okay. We got, it was it was called Simple Fresh Clothing. Okay. Oh. Um, always fresh, because mm-hmm. you know, we was in the Marines, Simple yeah. Five. Mm-hmm. Um, so we switching it because, you know, um, we can't trademark it. Ah, okay. The person that owns it, he don't want to sell it. He was a good, ah. he was a good person. Like, I emailed him. He, yeah. you know, he wasn't master mm-hmm. nothing. So it's going to be ASF. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? Always stay fresh. So, oh, that's dope. coming. That's on the way. Um, first quarter mm-hmm. on the way, 2 okay. 22, 22. Yep. Actually, my daughter's birthday, she turns 10. Dope. Um, the collaboratives, you know what I mean? We got more more music from the collaboratives coming. Yep. Dope. Dope. Esquire got some more music coming. Dope. And um, let me see. Oh, 10 Zero. That's mm-hmm. my label mm-hmm. okay. that I'm starting. So, okay. 10 Zero, um, people don't understand, like, they're like, 10 zero. Why you got 10 zero? So right. I say, because everybody's so focused on just getting a million. Yeah. I'm trying to get 10 billion. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. That's 10 zeros. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> yeah, man. Just just grinding, man. Grinding. For sure. For sure. For sure. Super grind. Um, more music on the way. Yep. You know? Yep. Tons of music. We're going to play that, uh, play that uh, the jump you just dropped with the uh, music. The Terror Red. Yeah, Terror Red out right now. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to play that jump throughout this episode. Just on yeah. Just on us. Spotify. Okay. So that way they get to hear that shit. They yeah. hear what you've been doing. Yeah. So definitely, bro, it's a pleasure having you, man. For Appreciate sure. It, man. And um, definitely, I'm going to be back. You know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna to have some more talk, bro. Yeah, for, yeah, sure, for, for sure. For sure. For sure. So it's What's Good Podcast, episode 89, 90. Which one? I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. But yeah. other than that, man, we out. Peace.